Okay, we're at Pedernales State Park and just outside of Johnson City and we're going to take the Wolf Trail, Wolf Loop Trail. Um, thanks for coming along. This is Bee Creek, which is about a mile and a half down the trail. The trail so far has been a uh, gravel road, basically, but it looks like it may be turning into a real trail. Anyway, Bee Creek is a nice little place. I just had a snack. This is Mescal Creek. It's got quite a bit of water in it, but it's not running real fast, but it's pretty and it's cool. And Jack likes it. He can get his feet wet and get a little drink. The trail isn't much. It's um, still gravel road. Let me show you where I just came from. And we seem like we're dropping a fair amount. So I'm guessing that sooner or later we're going to have to climb a fair amount. But maybe that'll be after lunch. Uh, we're heading to the springs. And I think that's where we'll stop and have lunch and maybe set up the hammock and relax for a little bit. Since we're not in any hurry, it's not as cool today as I thought it might be. It's probably 85, approaching 90. And because the, uh, the trail's in the sun and in the gravel, it's probably hotter, feels hotter than it really is. Anyway, so far so good. Um, I'm using the new pack. My... Um, ULA circuit and it's pretty comfortable although something's squeaking and I'm gonna have to figure out what that is but um, I like it so far it's pretty nice I don't have it loaded up very much because obviously it's just a, a little day hike but uh, we'll keep going well this is Tobacco Creek and you can see that it's pretty dry I was thinking about stopping here for a break, but I guess we'll keep on going. It's about 5 point, or 0.59 miles to the springs. Well, we made it to Jones Springs, and it's, I don't know, 1 o'clock, and it's hot. It's always hot in Texas. It is the first full, full day of fall. But of course, uh, that just is San Antonio's second summer. And probably in about three weeks, it'll get down to about 60 and then it'll get hot again. Uh, again, this is the Wolf Trail. It's six miles long. It says it's challenging. Um, I wouldn't say it's challenging other than the fact that there's no shade and it's very hot. But uh, the ups and downs so far haven't been bad. I've done about half of it. Uh, well, not quite half. I think there's a little more than half to go back out uh, if you do the loop. And that's what my plan is because I really don't want to see what I've already seen. Uh, Jones Springs is real nice. Uh, it's got a couple of big pools. Jack enjoyed flopping around in there and I filled up water. I'm going to take a rest here for a little bit. I brought some lunch, but I brought um, I brought gumbo, and uh, I'm not really sure I want something hot. Uh, I have still have a uh, trail mix bar, so I can have that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to cool down a little bit, relax, and maybe I'll maybe I'll make some gumbo in a minute. Take a rest now. All right, let me show you on the map what the deal is here. We started up here. We came down Wolf Trail, Bee Creek, and then around to Mescal Creek, and then 
up the hill and here was where the primitive campgrounds are on the brown trail there but we took stayed on the green trail wolf mountain trail all the way around here to the spring and after lunch we're going to go this way left loop back to the junction where the outhouse is and then back past Bee Creek and back to the car. So that'll be about six miles round trip. And I'm working on my packet gourmet gumbo which is pretty good. I uh, cooked it on my alcohol stove which I didn't show you. Um, I was busy trying to cook. Um, works good. I'm not sure that uh, maybe a fancy feast cat food can that's a little wider wouldn't be better. This is a metal Budweiser uh, can stove and it's kind of small around so that the pot doesn't fit on it real well. But uh, this is pretty good. It's kind of hot so I'm hoping it'll cool down a little bit. So we're still at Jones Springs. Um, I got the hammock up but uh, sun moved around so I'm sitting on the ground in the shade. Jack's taking a nap over there. He's kind of hot and tired. This is the other part of Wolf Loop Trail that we didn't do. You kind of go through an old homestead with some rock walls and back there there was a oh two walls of a house Part of a window left, part of a door. Much nicer than the other trail because it's dirt and in the shade. So I'm happier now. It doesn't take much to make me happy. Less rocks, more shade, less heat. Got some big old clouds up there. Supposed to get some rain tomorrow, but I don't think that's, well, it probably will happen, but I don't think these clouds have got anything to do with that. Now it looks like we're coming up to maybe the top part of uh, where Jones Spring was. Looks kind of wet. We haven't gone very far since we left Jones Spring. It's a nice breeze today. I take a really nice nap in the hammock had it not been in the sun. But I just couldn't find two trees to get out of the shade. So here we are. And another little creek crossing. Water. Better drink up, buddy. Yuck. Yuck. Muddy. Spooky in these woods. Not really. I'm gonna come out here and do a Blair Witch Project stupid movie. Scare everybody. Doesn't look quite so scary if I take my sunglasses off, but it's kind of neat. Pretty thick. Alright, time to put the camera away for a little bit. Well, we're at a junction uh, where we can go around Wolf Mountain to the right or around Wolf Mountain to the left. Around to the left is shorter, so guess which way we're going? To the left! And we have another three-tenths of a mile to the intersection of the road we came in on. And then it's up and down from there, but at least there'll be some stream crossings so we can get some water and Jack can take a nap. 
He's kind of tuckered out. Um, this isn't a bad trail. I would like to try it again when it's in the 50s or maybe in the 60s instead of in the, I'm not sure what it is, um, high 80s or low 90s. Uh, it's also kind of humid. But it's kind of pretty. Um, of course, it's mostly juniper and uh, cedar. There are a few oaks here and there, but not many. Uh, the trail's mostly gravel, except for that one little section I showed you earlier coming up from Jones Springs. That was pretty nice because it was nice and soft. Uh, the rest of it's kind of hard on your feet so far. Um, at least I got out, got to practice a little bit, got to use my new pack, uh, got to carry my new knife, didn't really get to use it. Um, can't wait to get home and watch some people do, do hikes on YouTube in the fall where it's cool and I can put my feet up and have a beer. I'll check in with you later. Jack and Rob on the trail.